Good afternoon, people watching Miss 65, Lisa Boyce. I just got back from uh, picking up Zach and uh, working out, and Wagner Chief uh, Prigozhin is dead. Report uh, after Russian forces shoot down plane. Now, some, I don't, you know what? Let me give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for all of our sins, past, present, and future, was buried and rose again on the third day according to scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone, period, not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him will not perish, but have eternal life. How do you come to that? You admit you're a sinner in need of Christ the moment you put your faith and trust in Christ, the moment you accept Christ as Savior, not only are you saved, but you are justified by the blood of Jesus. You're rapture ready and sealed, which is gonna happen at any time, and sealed until the day of redemption, which means you cannot and will not lose your salvation. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you, lead you, guide you, minister to you, teach you. It's a thunderstorm here, so. He will change you. He's your best friend. So, excuse me. I'm getting several um, stories right now. So, it says here that um, Yevgeny Prigozhin, the leader of the Wagner Group, is reported to be among 10 plane passengers killed in a crash today. A uh, private business jet went down in the uh, Tver region as it was traveling from Moscow to St. Petersburg, according to Russia state-sponsored media outlet TASS. So the Russian Ministry of Emergency Situations or internationally Emercom, Emercom was cited as the source confirming the crash and number of casualties. This sounds every bit like a setup. I'm sorry. It, it really does. Um, I don't know who. I don't know. Videos of the incident have circulated on social media platforms, including X, showing a plane plummeting toward the ground and erupting in a cloud of dark smoke. The Telegram channel uh, Gray Zone, associated with the paramilitary Wagner Group and its mercenaries, wrote that the plane was allegedly shot down by Russian air defense. So, oh, D came in. Uh, Newsweek cannot independently verify whether Prigozhin was on the plane and whether it was shot down by Russian military forces. This sounds very suspicious. This sounds extremely suspicious why because Prigozhin was part of Russia was part of Russians uh, mercenary and Putin's right-hand man why would Russia shoot him down shoot down this plane I'm sorry this doesn't sound right this is not sitting well with me it says, Prigozhin and former longtime ally Putin worked together in Russia's war efforts against Ukraine dating back to the war's inception in February 2022. But a buildup of resentment. That's thunder. The buildup of, of resentment between Russia's military forces and leaders and Prigozhin and his fighters led to a short-lived mutiny earlier this summer that resulted in a major rift between the Kremlin and mercenaries. Or did it? That could have been just an act that happened in the summer between him and Putin. The mutiny led to a negotiated deal between both parties that would involve Prigozhin and his men to seek refuge in Belarus, courtesy of Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko. However, that transaction never came to fruition as Progozhin remained in Russia. So, so, 
Now, let me see how Turner is basically saying the same thing. Russian mercenary was listed as a pa was listed as a passenger on the private jet which crashed north of Moscow on Wednesday. The TASS news agency reported, citing uh, Razoviestia, Russia's aviation authority. An investigation has been launched into. Uh, the plane crash that occurred tonight in the Tiver region, according to the passenger list, among them is the name and surname of uh, Yevgeny Progozhin. Earlier tasks had reported that 10 people had died after a private jet crashed in the region north of Moscow. The jet en route from Moscow to St. Petersburg was carrying seven passengers and three crew. This is not right. Something is off here. You know what? I don't believe Russia did this. I really don't. I'm sorry, but I, I just don't. I don't buy this. I, I'm not buying it at all. And I'm waiting to see what else is going to come out. That's why I didn't want to do it right away. I'm waiting to see if anything else is going to come out behind this. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm a little bit suspicious of it. Now, hold on a minute. Um, Okay, this came out earlier today. Before all of this came out. Top Russian general, I think his name's uh, Sarabakin, who has been out of public view since the Wagner mercenary rebellion has now reportedly been dismissed as head of the country's aerospace forces. Russian state media reported today the ex-commander-in-chief of the aerospace forces of Russia, Sergei Sarovakin, has now been relieved of his post. Colonel General Viktor Avstalov, chief of the general staff of the aerospace forces, is temporarily acting as commander-in-chief of the aerospace forces. Now, Um, Russian news outlet RBK popular telegram channel uh, close to the country's defense ministry reported on Tuesday that Sarovakin had been removed from his position reporting citing unnamed sources familiar with personnel changes in the defense ministry that Sarovakin Sarovakin was relieved of his duties due to a transfer to another job and is currently on a short leave. Um, look into this because something is just a, a miss here and maybe I'm looking into the whole thing uh, wrong but something's just not right it's, it's really not right I, I really uh, it's all over the media now Fox News has it The Hill has it um, everyone Newsweek has it Everybody has this now. But I don't know what's really going on. I mean, I don't know what's really going on. Because that sounds like a setup. It doesn't sound right to me. I'm going to link all the articles in the um, description box. And anything else come up, I'll let you know. Thank you.